Hey, what's up guys? My name is Elias and welcome to your 11th jQuery tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are going to make some improvements on our chatbot. And the first thing I would like to do is, you know, um, I want this checkbox to be checked when we reload the page. So, let's just go ahead and find our checkbox, which is in this controls div, div element, and there we go. This is input type equals checkbox. And to make this checkbox checked constantly, not constantly, to make this checkbox checked when we reload the page, uh, just say checked and that's it. And don't, don't write any equal signs or any parentheses, just say checked. And so it is checked every time we reload the page. So this is done and the first thing the second thing I would like to do is um, when I type the message, when I start just chatting, I see that I get this blank space right here. Well, it's because we um, we add this line break to the previous state and we don't check if the previous state is empty. So I honestly, I didn't, uh, I didn't figure out um, about this solution yet, so we are going to do it right now. First, I think we can actually just go ahead and check if the previous state is empty. And if it is empty, we, oh, no, if it's not empty, we are going to add this break, this break to the previous state variable. So I just say brief state should be equal to brief state plus line break. And if the previous state not empty, uh, it should add the line break and if the previous state is empty which means if this is the first message we are going to send it shouldn't append this line break and of course get rid of this uh, break right here otherwise we'll have two, two line breaks All right so let's just go ahead and test it whether whether it works um, test no it doesn't work so we have to figure out any another solution um, we can check the div elements length before we send the message so let's just go ahead and do that let's just say um, let's just check the previous state's length and you know J JavaScript allows you to access um, elements properties using this dot and just type the property so if the previous state is I don't know zero but now we don't actually know what the previous state length is when the div element is empty so let's just go ahead and let let the browser display the um, the div elements length when it's empty so just go ahead and say console log previous brief state length and it will display the the length of this of the empty div element. So I'll just open the console, just go ahead and click send, and it says three. So let's just go ahead and do it again. It says three again, and three again, and three again. Well, great, that means that the length of the empty div element is three, so we can use it. So uh, let's just go ahead and say if previous state length is uh, less than four or uh, yeah less than four we should add the line break so just let's just test it no it doesn't work right um oh I think oh I'm sorry I think it should be greater than three yeah now it works now we got rid of this uh, empty blank line uh, before the, the first message. So what we actually did is the following. We, uh, we got the length of, these, of this uh, empty div element, and, which is 3. And if the length is greater than 3, that means this is not, uh, this is not the, the empty state. And we can add this break line break to the previous state. Well, it sounds kind of tricky, but well, if you just do it a couple times, you will get the idea of it. 
Uh, let me uh, see how much time we have. Well, uh, unfortunately, this is uh, it for this tutorial. And in the next tutorial, we are going to add some feature. We are going to ask the user uh, what his name is using JavaScript dialog. And we will display the name before the message right here. For example, your name is Ilias. And your message is this is my message and of course we will style the name so uh, it will be easy to recognize that this is the name and this is the message all right guys that's it for this tutorial i hope you had fun and i'll see you guys in the next one and have a nice one